Hi, welcome to Dynamics Accounting and Finance Tips. My name is Jolie. Today we're going to talk about free text invoice templates. And this is an accounts receivable module. So this, uh, for the example I'm going to use today, if you have an invoice that you're sending out the same amount every single month, or even the same invoice every single month, or every single week, every single day, use the free text invoice templates. It's going to save you time and it's great functionality. So let me show you how it works. Let me jump into this. So for this example, let's say that uh, we have, we own a property and we have a building on that property and we have five leases in that property. So we have five different customers that we are charging $5,000 to five different cu customers. We'll set up one template, assign that template to those five customers, hit a button, generate reoccurring invoices. It's going to generate those invoices for us. Then we're going to hit post invoices and it's going to post them all at one time. Really? It really is going to do all that so fast. So let's create, let's set these up really quick. So we're going to hit, we're going to click new and I'm sorry, I didn't, I probably went by it too fast here. Accounts receivable under invoices, under reoccurring invoices, and these are the three areas, post re reoccurring invoices, generate reoccurring invoices, and free text invoice templates. They're in order. So free text is first, then you're gonna generate, then you're gonna post. So when I hit free text invoice templates, it brings me here. Label this something that you can recognize easily. For example, this property I own is at um, 5599, Locust Street. So I'm going to put 559 building as my identifier or Locust. I probably didn't spell that right. That's what the system is telling me. Yeah, let's, let's spell it like that. Okay, and then we do have to have a posting profile for any sort of transaction like this. In terms of payment, I would say it would be um, net due. There's not a net do set up, so I'm just going to select net one uh, method of payment. This can be changed even before you post them, but we're going to put check, so they need to send us a check. Here's where we're going to assign the main account. So this is great. Um, obviously, it's going to be a revenue account, um, probably a, a lease or rent revenue, but we're going to say other revenues for this example. And then here's where we would put our amount of $5,000. Now we can distribute those amounts to different financial dimensions if we'd like. Uh, maybe part of it, you wanna go to one department and part to another. Um, you can definitely hit this and distribute and distribute those however you'd like. But for this example, we're going to leave it all to this main account. And the text here, this is gonna to be to your customers. So we could say monthly rent at 5599 Locust Street, Fort Worth. Texas. And then this description is on your ledger. So again, you might want to have monthly rent, 5599 Locust on your ledger as well, just so you can identify these transactions easily. And then we're going to save. Now, if you go to here to assign customers, there's not going to be there anything there right now. And why is that? Because we need to assign those customers at the customer master record. So let's do that now. So simply go to accounts receivable, go to all customers and then search for your customers. So right now I have a list of three we're gonna put here under contains that I know, oh, I'm sorry, not contains, is one of. Okay, so we've selected these three and I would just highlight this first one, go up here under invoice tab, set up reoccurring invoices, Select new, you're gonna leave it to active, drop down the template to pick your template. So this is the 5599 building, your start date. We're gonna start August 1st. We are gonna end this at the end of the year because our leases are going to be increased at the first of the year. So we would need to increase um, our template and start this again um, for the next year. So let's change this to monthly, and we're going to say one per month, and we're going to use the free text invoice template values. 
we're going to save. Now, here is where you can see the history. This is great. So you're going to see your history of every single transaction that post through this free text invoice template uh, module, um, which is going to be great. And I'll show you this in just a second. And we're just going to highlight this next one and do the same thing. And again, you'll set this up one time and then You won't have to do this again until you have to create a new template. And we'll go ahead and just leave this at three examples here. Oh, looks like we already have, oh, yeah. So the system got a little confused. Let's just highlight that. The system recognizes that there's a process, meaning you have to post your your invoice for the month that you generate before you can post the next invoice. Meaning if it's August and I generate my free text invoices and I don't post those August invoices and I try to generate September's, it is not going to, I have to post August before I can post September's. It's a process, right? So let's close out of this. We've got our templates set up with our customers. For this example, we're just gonna, we're gonna go ahead and use three. Now we're gonna generate our reoccurring invoices. This is what I like. I like this because all I have to do is select the template and it's going to select the free text invoices and create all the free text invoices for all of those customers. However, I could do this customer by customer if I wanted to. There's really no need, I'm gonna hit okay. And so this has been created successfully. So now we go to our third step in this process, post reoccurring invoices. And now we see, okay, this last one, 0006, is the batch that was created, the reoccurrence ID. If I open that up, now I want you to notice something. Post at the top is available. So if I'm comfortable with these, and I've already know, I already know the process is working, the amounts are correct. I just go here to post and then my invoices are posted. I can go to the free text invoice module and print my invoices or email them to the customer. Simple as that. For this example, I'm going to go in and show you that all three invoices have been created. If I wanted to go into each one of the invoices here and make any changes, I could. I would just go here to details. I would highlight which invoice I wanted to go to the details for. Now you cannot post the free text invoice here. It'll be grayed out and that's for a purpose. It wants to keep that connection, that history that I was telling you about. So let's, let, let me show you that. But again, you can click inside, edit, and notice the dates, 8-1, due 8-2, because we gave it a net one. So let's change that to net 10. We're giving them a few more days. And here you can confirm your financial dimensions if you needed to change that. But see how the in the text has is showing exactly. None of that's being mainly typed in. Your main account, this is all automatically created for you. So again, I could have just hit post. You have to post from this module. Now I can go each line by line and post up here. But really, I'm just going to post them all at one time. Now it's added to a batch job. It's going to take it, depending on the batch, it's going to maybe take it about 30 seconds. If you soft refresh up here, you can see after I've soft refreshed, it, it is now set to posted and all of those invoices are now posted. Now we can go into the history for those customers. So let me go ahead and go back to those three customers, all customers. Now there's a couple of ways that we can, we can definitely go into the invoice journal to see those, or we can go to reoccurring invoices, see the history, and we'll see every single free text invoice that was posted through the reoccurring. So it, eventually this could be a long list. And then you can just click in here 
and email or print this and send this to your customer. So it's really neat, um, especially if you're sending the same invoice every week, sometimes every day. It's great functionality just to save, even if it saves you 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, I think that's a win. Um, I am happy to bring this presentation to you. If you like this, please subscribe and thank you for watching. More to come.